hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Honkai Star Rail. Today we are going to attempt to finish this world. So we are going to try to get to the final boss today. Let's just hope. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What are we going to do? We found it in the orphanage. Yeah, so she's... She's been here already? Whoa! Quick, look! What am I looking at? That's Branya! Oh. Huh? Is that Kakolia too? Looks like no, it. It isn't them. It must be... A kind of echo? Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. All right. To the kit snow globe. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? <sighs> I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, wait. Wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the fragmentum. However... 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 There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay. Huh. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. You'll talk so much. Okay, let's see. We got this going. Okay, so oh, okay, we gotta get four or technically three, I guess now. It worked, Things unlocked. Right? But the gate didn't move an inch. Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. All right. <laughs> To the chest here. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a guy. Look over there. I think I can see the next unit. Yep, I can too. I see it too. Let's go. Well, first we gotta beat this guy up. Oh, how did he get me? I hit him first. That's not fair. Not fair. But we need to fast forward this. Okay, there we go, there we go. Very nice. Okay. Can we get over there? I think so. Yeah, we can get over here. I get ya. How are they getting me? How are they getting me? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got ambushed twice already. And this is just the beginning of the episode. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down just a bit. Turn it down a little bit because she is loud. Yeah, we're gonna turn it a little bit down on you guys' end too. Because it's pretty loud. I guess so. Monsters would usually destroy man made objects. Okay, that's two. We got two more. This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. All right, we're going. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Uh, I think this has to go over here next. Let's turn it... Like, actually, yeah, let's do this. Leave. Yeah, that way is what we go to. And then we'll go and turn it when we get over here. And get over there. Oop. Hello. <laughs> oh. I don't want to talk to Mr. Yang right now. Excuse me. Hello. No, thank you. Please go away. 
I'm not doing that. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're gonna go get this guy this time. Yeah, got him this time. No more getting ambushed. Nice. There we go. Okay, let's get you. Good. One more left. One more. Success. Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Close your eyes and meditate. You try to recall the dreams as your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. Well? There was a voice calling out to Kokolia. This is merely speculation. But perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron of this Ooh. world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. He's got a point. Uh, the Stellaron ha has already warned Kokolia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? Yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Of course. Dalarong's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Okay. Sila's angry. See where are we gonna go this time? Actually, you know what? Let me take a look at the map. Um Okay, yeah, so it wants us to go over here. So we're gonna have to turn that thing again. Am I going the right way? Oh here's a gate. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um can I click you? How do I get over there? Where do I need to go? Okay, I'm here, so... Put that that way? I think, maybe? Yeah. Uh, no! Is this right? <sighs> if you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. Okay, um... There's not one on this side, so I guess we need to go from over there. Okay, let's do this. So see, I'm here. Yeah, and then we'll need to rotate it over there. Uh, is there not a thing to rotate it? Wait a minute. Wait, what? <laughs> confused. I am confused. Um. Wait. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. Okay, so that obviously isn't it. But I think. Can I teleport to like here? I can teleport here. Oh, I'm so smart. Dang, I'm so smart. Dang, I'm so smart. <laughs> I can teleport. I got the power of teleportation on my side. Come here. Oh my god, stop ambushing me. Ugh. Why is my arm itch so bad? It keeps itching. Rock with it. Strike with heart. There we go. 
Why does my arm itch? Victory by the blitz. There's the last one. My arm itches. Okay, I don't think I need that. Where am I supposed to go now? Uh, back over here, so let's teleport to here. Down this way. And then up this way. My arm itches, bro. Whoa, check this place out. Tables and... Looks like another completely new monster. Yay. My arm itches. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. Really you know strange. How strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. Well, dang. Okay, I'll get it. Not gonna ambush me this time. I got you. I got you this time. Okay. Yeah, I can't use that feature. Um. We'll attack these guys, try to get them out of the way. Because I really shouldn't be attacking her. But I have AoE attacks, like, it can't really, can't really help too much. I do need you to attend to my wounds. Let's do this. Let's get out of the way. Okay, we are already starting to get low on health. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and heal. <laughs> go ahead and get this up. We're gonna have to do a lot of healing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ain't no way. Okay, Bailu, I need you to heal. <laughs> like, get your alt up. Skills. Okay. Oh, now it's basic attack? Wow. She's really making this not easy for us. Okay, single targets. There we go, we got her broke. Get her. And one more. There we go. And you're done. You're done. This enemy is completely different. I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum. I think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. Seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look, Ramya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. I'm starting to feel hazy. Hey, stay with it. I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Mm-hmm. Let's get this health, because we need that. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Let's see, where am I supposed to go? This way? Oh, can I just, like, run around you? Cool. It's that shadow of hers again. Aha, I got around the enemy. Feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders. Uh, did did she just speak? You can not good. March, help away. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're fighting an echo of her. You go, no. Bro. Oh, are you telling me I can't, like, do fast battle? 
<laughs> I have to take it slow. Dang, okay. Pretty good crowd today. Alright, well we gotta use to our attacks. Oh my god, it feels so weird seeing them without like it sped up because it feels like it's so slow. You are to fail. Wow. Rude. <laughs> okay, I think we need to attack these things. Yeah, if somebody does. I can breathe easy again. Let's rock. Okay, one. A world devoured by ice. Oh my god, she froze froze uh, Serval. What are you doing now? What is she doing? <laughs> How many of my moves can you block? Blade in flight! Okay. Come on, Serval. I need you, Serval. I probably should have just went ahead and killed that one thing. Yeah, probably should have just hit that instead of healed. Alright, we're gonna heal. Oh my god, we're gonna heal. Oh my god, our health is so low. Practice is over. Oh my god, our health is so low. <laughs> I'm a little worried. <laughs> Keep up my tempo. There we go, we broke her. Rules are made to be broken. Alright, let's get her. Okay, that didn't do that much. Yeah, gotta get those vitamins. Oh my god, already recovered? <laughs> Let's make it quick. This song's just for turn up the volume. Ooh, this is not looking too good. I'm a little worried. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I can breathe easy again. Tremble before my power. Ooh. If anything, I want you to hit Bailu so I can regenerate my health and or Let's my go. ult. Need to be attacking these things. Ah! Pretty good crowd today. That was not good. Thank you. Get rid of that. Please heal. Heal, 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 heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heal. Oh my goodness. Heal, please. I can breathe easy again. I'm glad you can, because I can't. Oh. Witness the avalanche. I don't like this. Let's make it quick. Okay, we need to do this. Ooh. Oof. Come on, we gotta get this out of the way. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I thought. Practice is over. Swords descend. Oh my god, my health is so low. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Oh my god, come on. She's so close to dying, please. Why are you healing Serval? Like, okay, I'm happy that you're healing Serval, since she's the one actually breaking the shield, but like, there's other people who need it more. Oh my god. 
Just turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. Oh god. Bye Lou, no! I need bye Lou. Please. Oh, okay. 16 health. We can do that. We can do with that. Come on. Come on. Get that health. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. 15, 14% now. Actually, we're gonna do this. How about you stop doing that? I'm gonna hit her. I need to get her dead. Oh god. Let's make it quick. Is this gonna hit me? Okay. She's got 8%. We gotta get her out. Ooh. I don't like this. We have got to get her out of here. We gotta get her out. You gotta go. 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 Bro, you gotta go. Get out of here. Go. Go. Come on, Serval. Come on, go. Get up. Get her. Oh. Get out of here. She disappeared. Upstairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid. But I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Um, resist resting power in the snow plains. That wouldn't be so bad. You're welcome. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I guess I did. I you all with my gloomy reflections. But, on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. That is the spirit of trailblazing. All right. Final battle time. Um, I need some like health thingies. Maybe there's one here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get one of the little teleports real quick. We're gonna teleport right here. Get everything ready to go in. Okay, now we're gonna go in. Okay, let's go. A little, little scared, not gonna lie. That one battle with Coca-Cola, her, what's it called, like, it's image? It's kinda, here. kinda hard. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron. And the Did the architects build this? Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it? Look like the palm of a huge hand to you? It do indeed. If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage, we have to save her. The underworld. No. The entire planet relies on her. It do. There she is. No. Do not resist, Branya. 
Accept the common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. Oh, 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears instead of hearing the call it is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature Seek to abase cast them aside break free of the chains that bind you the stellaron will lead humanity to evolve and they will just crazy talk yeah. Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Rania! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to steal this Celeron thing. You, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. We need you. Belag needs you, Branya. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here, Branya. <laughs> I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me subversion of the old order and the welcoming of a new world and compared to the illusory ever more distant preservation this was so tangible I have agonized long agonized over how to convey all this to you inevitably the promise tomorrow will transpire but if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. It is what it is. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness, Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now, choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kakarna, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I, I am sorry, mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about the 
who's simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better. I witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Rania. I don't think you do. You will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. Oh. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. Uh huh. And you will become the foundation of the new world. Girl, what? You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you. Rise, engine of creation. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that's genuinely terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's huge! Okay, what do we gotta do here? One out of three? Yeah. Oh! We're just hitting. Let's get these mini guys out of the way. Okay. We have to stop it. Yeah, honestly. I would have never guessed that, Sila. We have to stop it? What are you talking about? What? No. You're crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Pretty good crowd today. Let's oh, okay. How can we bring a giant like this down? That's a good question. Much How many can you block? Okay, I didn't want to use my ult, but I'm gonna use Ready it. To lose yourself? You can fight it. Get out of here. How are you still alive? I can breathe easy again. Ooh. Practice is over. Swords descend. I really don't like these enemies. I don't know what this one is called, but I do not like them. Get those two are out of the way. Ready to lose your you can fight it. With it. Oh my goodness. Uh try to get you out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and heal actually. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you're dead. 
Now what? Now we, what we gotta do with this robot? Oh my god, that is so scary! What? What? Yeah, in the last episode, um, Himiko and Welt were talking, and they said something about let the young ones have fun or something, but I guess they're here to help as well. What are you talking about? Welt and I have been up on this thing you this time. You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. So, how did that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm parkour. Parkour. Oh my god. Parkour. Oh my god. <gasps> Sula. Oh my god. She yeeted us. We just got yeeted. Oh my god. Okay, there she is. Now we gotta defeat Kokolia. Okay. Oh my god, she looks genuinely terrifying. She's on bonkers. Oh my, it's just me. What do you, what, what? What, why is it just me? Huh? Uh, there ain't no way I can do this. Does it, I guess it wants me to like lose health or something. I think it wants me to like die, I guess. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Let's go. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Humanity. So weak and foolish. Always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair. Despair. Oh. Oh, we just got stabbed. Where are we going? Hello? I mean, we're alive, it looks like. Just got impaled. The universe? But I was fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? Oh, we gotta walk a path? Space path or path space. The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I. Go on, Jabard. I. I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures. Fragmental. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. Be aware of the consequences. God, so that... That means that Jepard knew the entire time that something was up. Oh my god. But he had to follow orders. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What 
Colia is literally like possessed. Literally possessed. Oh my god. Kukulia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Only I. Only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Being transformed. Feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve them of their stupidity and fear. Oh my god, she's literally causing them to turn into like fragmented monsters. She's sacrificing them literally. I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every silver main guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Oh my goodness. She's literally gaslighting everyone. There's a child. Hello. The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Kokoli abandoned preservation. Okay, so I'm gonna take a wild guess here. Obviously, this is Guardian's Wheel, so this must be, like, the embodiment of all the past Guardians. And I'm assuming that it's going to be in the form of a child, because children are kind of, like, innocent. And I don't know if they wanted this to happen, obviously. So that's, that's my theory. My game theory. Is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. 
Some people can't be swayed. talk any slower <laughs> oh my goodness give me that sword give me that give me that sword I want that sword pick it up Ooh. come on Excalibur oh that's a hot sword oh Oh my god. She pulled out. What is that? What what are you? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cheesy. So cheesy, but I love it. Okay, this must be the actual final final battle now that we have our power up. No, it can't be. Okay, so it looks like she has two forms. Defend the weak. Okay, we got a defense now. Can I? Yeah, I can. Cool. Oop. Okay. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Try to get the shield to break. So this is like phase one, I guess. Phase one. Gotta get on the healing ball. Oh, these things again. Oh, great. Oh! Oh, it's on our side. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Okay, well that's cool. That's cool. Songs for you. Turn it up. Oh. Okay, break. Yeah. Skitter with the pyro. I don't know if that's what it's called actually. <laughs> but it's it looks like fire, so obviously it's pyro. Get you one of that shields off. All right, she's recovered. Let's get her. She's so close. Okay. That was a lot of health. Oh my god. I like how I feel like I'm doing so good, and then all of a sudden something like that happens, and I feel like I'm no longer doing good. Like, I go from being not worried to worried. Do this. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Try to break the shield again. There we go. Oh my god, just one? Oh my god, you're gonna let her recover? Okay, there she goes. Okay, this is phase two now. 
Uh, I really actually needed Bailu, so can you not? Can you not? Can you not? Can you not use Bailu? Please? Please? I need her? To live, I need her? Oh my god, the music! Uh, okay, well, I'm like dead. Okay, I need Bailu. Like, desperately, I need Bailu. Thank you. Whew. You can't just play it that heavy music and then kill me. That's supposed to be my epic moment, don't you know? Don't you know how this thing works? <laughs> Boom. The song is hitting. Oh my goodness. She's so close. We've got her at 20%. Just a little bit more. 14% now. Oh my god, the music is so good in this! Oh my god! That's not good. She has 5%, but still 1%. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Just barely managed that one. She smiled one last time. Just because you smile, don't mean I forgive you. <laughs> oh, poor Branya. She's back to being an orphan. Mother, did you wake up from that dream? a tough trailblazing expedition <laughs> we made it but uh what are we gonna do with the stellaron it's usually mr yang who handles it i've informed himiko and mr yang already they'll steal the stellaron nice the crisis on this world is basically over right mm. huh. the storm still rages on now that the stellaron is sealed the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. The Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore. But nor will it disappear. Yurilo 6 has a chance to return to life. But it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Cover the truth. You mean, use a lie to conceal a lie? But if I do that, then... You have to, Branya. Sila, I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, you tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. 
Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Belaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. Well, what do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. A lie will always be a lie. Agreed. Um, yeah. I understand. But... I must protect those that believe in the Architects. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like a marriage proposal. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Aww. My god, that battle was so good. Everything about this final battle was just so good. Sila, when you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed, you tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jafar to... serve... Huh? Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Uh... So, we'll go to the underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave now to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun? No. For Bellabog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Um, the, the, that's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, March. Um, thank you. You're welcome. That's not answering my well, question, too bad. Though. Is the answer. She probably doesn't know what happened no, either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from the Nook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Oh my goodness. A brand new path. We've got Sila, Branya, Japard, Serval. The whole gang's here, almost. Oh, equilibrium, finally. Okay. What does it want me to do now? Upgrade my characters. Oh, you want me to switch over? Preservation. Confirm. 
Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, I am going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, it will be the final Eurelio 7 episode before we head into the next, hopefully, the next world. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!